Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christy from Van On Company. It's Tuesday, November 13th. I'm gonna go over the markets with you for the day. Weaker tone throughout the grain market. It's actually a pretty ugly day when you look at it. Corn market down four and three quarters. Bean market down five. Wheat market giving back almost all of their gains from yesterday, anywhere from six to 13 cents lower. Um, you came out here and started the day with actually quite a bit of support into the soybean market as you're starting to hear the US and China trying to talk again. Um, but it was more of a buy the rumor, sell the fact kind of a mentality that we see a lot of times the fact that it was released that they had been talking trying to get together before this g20 summit and then the market found some selling pressure against some key resistance points so this will be interesting moving forward there are some rumors out there that u.s has invited china to come over to washington before the g20 summit at the end of the month but is yet to, see, to be determined whether or not they're going to come and try and get those discussions it kind of seems like they want to be able to make a tra trade deal on that summit but there's a lot of room that needs to be done before you can get to that point. You also had some very, very ugly outside markets weighing on um, really the grains as a whole. So crude oil down anywhere from four to five bucks today. You're really pushing that market quite a bit lower as you're starting to uh, build the world supply up. And then you look at the Dow market a little bit weaker as well. US dollar down 20 cents. Uh, you did see cattle markets try and find some support on some key support levels here, bouncing back. So live cattle up about a buck. Feeders actually deferred contracts up about 250 to three bucks. So some support there. And then hog markets coming up a little bit as well. Inspection report on grains were pretty decent for both corn and soybeans. Not so great on wheat. Um, everything is pushed back a week. So we'll see harvest uh, progress here this afternoon to give us a little bit of idea. And then we'll have to wait for extra export sales all the way until Friday to have a better idea as far as that goes. But for now, it looks like the market's settling into a little bit of a weaker pattern. I do have to close the disclaimer. Trading in futures and options involves risk loss and is not suitable for all producers. Have a great day.